I know you guys all love something made in a muffin tin, right? Muffin tins are cute, they're portable, they're just fantastic, and they're fun. Today I'm gonna make a great dish. It's eggs and bacon in a toast cup made in a muffin cup. First thing that I'm doing, as you can see, I'm just pressing down on this white bread to make it a little bit flatter so that they're thin enough that they can line the muffin tins and not like just be too, too thick. You can use a rolling pin if you wanna be more even and not touch it as much, but you know me, I like to touch my food. While you're doing that, you might as well put your bacon in your pan to start cooking. So you just wanna cook this until it's not quite crisp. Six slices of bacon for six servings. Obviously you can multiply this up as much as you want. They're gonna cook more in the oven, so you want them a little bit pliable. So just put them into a uh, skillet and cook them up. I'm using my induction burner still because I don't have gas. We haven't had gas since the hurricane. What do you think about that? All right, now that those are cooking, I can go back to my bread. Once they're all nice and flattened out, you're gonna use a four inch round cutter. Cut them into rounds. I'm using eight slices of white bread, like a regular sandwich bread, for six cups. You'll see why in a minute when I start lining my muffin tins. Cut them in half. Those are cut in half. Now you wanna brush your muffin tins with unsalted melted butter. Isn't everything better in a muffin tin? I really think it is. Everybody likes eating them, they're handheld. Kids love them, they're just more fun. Then take two of your halves and line your muffin tin with two halves of bread into the muffin tin with the rounded edges up. You can point the pointy edges up, it's totally up to you. And then there may be a hole in the bottom. You can plug that hole with one of the extra pieces of bread. That's why we started with eight pieces even though we're only making six egg cups. My bacon, I'm just moving it around so that it cooks a little bit more evenly. Not quite used to the induction burner yet, but I'm working on it. Take all the bacon out as it finishes and drain it on paper towels. Just remember, don't let it get too crispy. You don't want it overcooking in the oven. And then brush these with butter. The butter's gonna make it really crisp and crunchy in the oven and taste delicious, of course. Do you wanna have eggs in this egg dish? I do. <laughs> but before you do that, you're gonna take a slice of bacon and just tuck it into your cups. The edges will overhang. It's as designed. So don't worry about it overhanging. That's what you want. So those get extra crunchy and crispy in the oven. Plus they're cute, right? Then crack one egg into each cup and you can throw these guys in the oven. You're gonna need six large eggs. Crack one egg into each cup. Ooh, if you've rolled your bread thin enough, you shouldn't have too much overflow of the egg. But don't worry if a little goes over the edges. It'll just bake and then when you take it out, it'll be fine. I did press the edges just a little bit more before I put my egg in so they wouldn't overflow too much. Put it on a little baking sheet and then season it with a little bit of salt and then a 375 oven until the egg white is set. That'll take about 20 minutes. Let's see, are they done? They are. I like to cook them until the whites are set, but the egg yolk is just a little bit soft. This isn't my usual thing that I wanna say about food, but they are quite adorable. Adorableness isn't the most important thing when it comes to food, but it doesn't hurt sometimes, right? I mean, come on, people. Look at that. But you know what? It's not just adorable, it's gonna be delicious too. And fun to eat. Look. Hmm? Handheld food. Nothing better than that. Great for dinner, great for a brunch, great to make for a crowd, and really, really fun.